Hey everyone, this is Barkov Suthar and today we will learn how to find an upper bound and a lower bound in a given haze diagram. Okay, so this is very important topic uh, for the course of uh, discrete mathematics. Now see, uh, first understand what is an upper bound. So let A lesser or equals to B opposite. Now consider a subset, this B of A. Now an element, uh, what, just take one element, A belongs to A, is called an upper bound of the second set B. If this B is less than or equals to A for all B belongs to B. Now let us discuss what is a lower bound. See, these are the uh, definitions are very tedious. Uh, we will understand it by uh, using examples. Fine. So let A less than or equals to B a uh, poset. Now consider a subset B of A. An element A belongs to A is called a lower bound of B if uh, A is less than or equals to B for all B belongs to B. There is no difference, just uh, uh, the inequality are changing. Fine. So these are the definitions. Now we will proceed for the examples. Now let us take example. Okay. So see, this is the haze diagram that is given. Now consider this B1 equals to E and C. So we have just specific set that is B1 that is E and C. Now we want to find the lower bound as well as upper bound of this given set. Now first we will find the upper bound. Fine. Now see, uh, for upper bounds, just remember this thing. For upper bound, there has to be a relation from this given set to the upper points. Okay. So just consider C, uh, E and C. Okay. So what are the upper points just by looking at this Hayes diagram? So H, F and G, they are the in upper position to this uh, given set. Okay. So H, F and G, they are the upper points. Now we will decide whether they are upper bounds or not. So just consider H. Okay. Now C, uh, uh, there has to be a relation from this set to the upper points so that means uh, specifically to h fine now can we go from e to h so that means uh, can we go from e to h what does that mean is there a relation from e to h so just simple manner can we go from e to h yes now can we go from e, uh, c to h so just uh, see remember this it is a haze diagram and all the relations are in the upward direction so that means this uh, can we go from c to h yes how uh, just first go from C to E and then E to H. So H is an upper bound. Fine. Now consider F. Now can we go from C to F? Uh, yes, we can go from C to F. Now can we go from E to F? So uh, just first, uh, just consider first go uh, go to E to H. Then for H to F, we need to go in the downward direction, but that is not possible as it is a haze diagram. Fine. So uh, F cannot be an upper bound. Just consider G. Now can we go from C to G? Yes. Uh, first C to F then F to G. So G is fixed. Now can we go from E to G? Now E to G that means first we can go from uh, E to H then H to F. For, for H to F uh, we need to go in the downward direction but that is not possible. So G cannot be an upper bound. Now consider this uh, uh, elements of E and C. So elements of B1 this given set itself. Now can we go from C to C? Yes. Uh, why? Because it is a post set or it is a haze diagram. So uh, reflexivity is there. So C to C we can go. Now can we go from E to C? For E to C we need to go in the downward direction but that is not possible. Now just consider E. Now can we go from C to E? Yes, it is obvious. Uh, and can we go from E to E? Uh, we can go from E to E. So E can be a upper bound. So what are the upper bounds? Yes, E is the upper bound and H is the upper bound. Now for lower bounds just remember this. Uh, for lower bounds there has to be a relation from this uh, lower points to this given set so here the given set is e and c now what are the lower points just by looking at this graph so as you can see that this a and b they are the lower points fine now for lower bounds there has to be a relation from the lower points to all the elements of the given set now can we go from a to c yes now can we go from a to e yes so first go uh, go to a to c then C to E. So yes, A is a uh, lower bound. Now then, just B. Now can we go from B to C? Yes. And can we go from B to E? Yes. So uh, it is also a lower bound. Now consider the uh, elements of the set itself. Now can we go from C to E? Yes. And can we go from C to C itself? So yes. So what does that mean? What are the lower bounds? Just A, B, C, they are the lower bounds. Now let us discuss uh, another set. That is C, F and D. Okay. So for C and D, C, F and D, 
what are the upper points so e h and g they are the upper points fine now can we go from just fix e now can we go from c to e yes can we go from f to e no because for that we need to go in the downward direction so e is cancelled now for h now can we go from c to h uh, yes from first c to e then e to h fine now can we go from f to h yes and can we go from d to h yes so h is an upper bound now next just consider g so can we go from c to g yes can we go from f to g yes and can we go from d to g yes first c to f and then f to g so g is also an upper bound now consider the elements of the given set itself so c f and d so it is very clear this f has to be an upper bound how we can go from c to f we can go from d to f and we can go from f to f so what are the upper bounds so h g and f they are the upper bounds now for lower bounds for c f and d so for lower bound there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set fine so what are the lower points uh, you can see that this a and b are the lower points first now can we go from a to c yes can we go from a to f yes now can we go from a to d no uh, we can first go from a to f then for f to d we need to go into the downward direction but that is not possible so a is not a, a lower bound now for b uh, again the, the same scenario we cannot go from b to d so that is also not a lower bound now just consider the points of this set itself c f and d now we cannot go from c to d so c cannot be in upper uh, lower bound now we cannot go from d to c so that is also not a lower bound and obviously f cannot be a lower bound so yes you are right this uh, it is the empty set so that means this set does not have a lower bound now consider the second example so this is the haze diagram fine now consider the set e and g uh, where is e this is e and this is c so we need to find the upper bound first so again for upper bound there has to be a relation from the given set to the upper points so what are the upper points just by looking at this so f a i and c they can be the upper points now uh, just uh, discuss one by one now f can be uh, an upper bound yes we can go from e to f we can go from g to f now for a we can go from e to a we can go from uh, g to a yes then i we can go from e to i we can go from g to i how g to e then e to i and c we can go from e to we cannot go from e to c but g to c we can grow but c cannot be an upper bound now consider the elements of e and g now can we go from g to e yes and can we go from e to e yes so what are the upper points uh, so what are the upper bounds that means e f a and i so these many will be the upper bounds now for lower bounds so again for lower bounds there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set so e and g so what are the lower bounds so that means h and b so just consider can we go from h to e yes and can we go from h to g no so h cannot be a lower bound now can we go from b to e uh, b to e yes and can we go from b to g yes so b can be a lower bound and elements of the set itself g is the lower bound so that means this b and g it is a lower bound now consider another set b to uh, that is h e g and c so h e g and c this four points are there now we need to find the upper bound of this set so again there has to be a relation from this set to the upper points so what are the upper points so d f a i and c they are the upper points now we can go from h to d uh, then we cannot go from g to d so d cannot be there then then f uh, for f uh, what is the false one we cannot go from c to f so f cannot be there now then a uh, we can go go from h to a e to a then g to a and c to a so a can be an upper bound and last i so i is also an upper bound fine now for lower bounds there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set now as you can see that uh, it is clear that b is uh, b will be the lower bound because here only one point is there so it will be the lower bound now uh, consider the third set this b3 equals to a so this a now we want to find the uh, upper bound of this as you can see that what will the upper bound it is very obvious why because uh, we have we don't have any upper points okay so that means this a itself it is an upper bound fine 
now for lower bound you can see that this all the points all the points are uh, lower points to a fine so there has to be a relation from this lower points to the given set that is here a but uh, it is very obvious that we can go from each and every points to a so that means this all points will be the lower bounds fine now consider another example uh, this is the haze diagram we have now consider b1 that is b and d now where is b and d so we are now we will do it very fast okay now b and d so for the upper bound b and d what are the upper points so as you can see that d is the only upper point fine so d will be the upper bound now for lower points for lower bound there has to be a relation from lower points to the given set fine so what are the lower points first e g a f okay so can we go from g to b and g to d yes so g will be the lower bound now for e we can go from g to b and we can go from g to d so e will be a lower bound we can go from a to b and a to d so a will be a lower bound now we can go from f to d but we cannot go from f to b so it won't be a lower bound and also b itself it is a lower bound so a g e and b will be the lower bound now consider another set that is b2 that is a and c so a and c so what will be the upper bounds okay for upper bound there has to be a relation from the given set to the upper points now can we go from a to b yes can we go from c to b no so b is cancelled now d we can go from a to d c to d so d will be the upper bound now for the set a and c itself c will be the upper bound so that means the c and d will be the upper bound now for lower bounds we can go from e to a we can go from e to c so that means e and a so a and e will be the lower bounds and the last set that is this b and c b and c so b for b and c what are the upper points uh, it is only one so that means this d we can go from b to d we can go from uh, c to d so it is the upper bound and next what are the lower points so g a e and f they are the lower points now we can go from g to b but we cannot go from g to c so g won't be there now in same manner f cannot be a lower bound so what are the left a and e now we can go from e to b e to c and also a to b and a to c so that means this a and e will be the lower bounds fine thank you